Well, welcome back. Senator John McCain, uh, as we all know, has uh, passed away uh, over the weekend after a year-long battle with brain cancer. So Dr. Bill Mostow, the emergency room uh, director at Banner Del Webb, is here to give us more insight about this disease. Welcome. Good morning Thanks. to you. Yeah, uh, your insight so valued on this. Uh, give us an idea. What is glioblastoma, especially when it compares to maybe other types of, sure. of cancers in the brain? So as we were talking about, many cancers in the brain come from other parts of the body. But glioblastoma is the most common primary brain cancer where it actually grows from brain tissue. And you said oftentimes the reason why it's so deadly is because it's hard to get to. You can never pop, usually get it all. So it, it, it affects the structural part of the brain, kind of the glue that holds mm -hmm. the rest of the brain together. So because of that, it's usually deep and it's always uh, around and through the more important parts of the brain, you know, that we need for thinking and, and living. So um, typically it has a very good blood supply and it grows very quickly. So by the time you get symptoms, a headache or seizures or something like that, mm -hmm. usually it's pretty big and it has little tentacles. So it kind of grows throughout the brain. So the initial treatment is pretty much always surgery to get it out. But by the time you're at that stage, it's almost impossible to get the whole thing. And you probably would risk, I would imagine, um, the after effects of a surgery like that if you take too much of it out exactly. because it's you your brain. That, that's the trick of neurosurgery mm -hmm. is, you know, your brain is in this little spot and you can't get the healthy brain tissue because clearly that's a devastating problem. So the, so the tumors that are, um, that are amenable, that, that are, are able to be taken out are ones that are, that are typically more toward the outside and are very, you know, uh, well encapsulated in one spot where you can kind of scoop it out to be kind of simplified and get it out, and this is not one of those. So we've heard about several cases um, with people kind of in the headlines having glioblastoma, especially with politicians and such in recent yeah, years. Yeah, Kennedy and both. Yeah, and Kennedy, and I think they passed on the same day as you know, John McCain and he. Uh, it, what is the, is it rare, is it common, what is, yeah, about 12,000 uh, uh, Americans per year come down with it. Mm -hmm. The more commonly people over 60 years old, men a little more than women. Okay. The life expectancy, if you're diagnosed with this, especially mm -hmm. in that age group, about 14 months. Okay. So, so uh, Senator McCain's story was, was pretty typical of the usual progression. Yeah. And you said it's, it's more rare to see in younger people. Um, but I would imagine, I don't know. If you're younger and you're diagnosed with something like this, do you have a better chance at? Well, there's a little bit of variation in the disease, and about 5% of people who get the disease live more than 10 years. Wow. And younger people, in particular, seem to get the, the, the less invasive, slower growing kind. Mm -hmm. So they do typically have a better chance, still a pretty devastating problem. So you said, you know, sometimes if you're a patient and you may have headaches and you may have uh, seizures, things like that, are those really the only type of symptoms? And then you go into the doctor and maybe get an MRI or some type of test done? Right. Usually that's the most common, but so the symptoms usually come from the tumor growing and causing pressure, okay. increased pressure on the brain. Okay. And headaches and seizures are, and nausea, vomiting, personality changes. Sometimes, depending on where it's growing, you could get like stroke symptoms. So if it's growing in a part of the brain that affects, let's say, your left side, then you can start having weakness or numbness on your left side, almost like a stroke. Mm -hmm. But the, you know, the, the CT reveals a tumor. All right. okay. Dr. Bill Mostow, thank you so much for joining us this morning and yeah, enlightening us a little bit on that. Thank you.